right just south of the bridge, and the light is red, and they're backed up all the way. Now maybe it's just because it's you know it's February and there are more people down here, whatever it is. But my concern would be that to add more cars to that situation would make it even worse than just at three o'clock. So you have thirteen hundred cars that's right. now. Well, that's why we're doing all right. that. And um, I did talk to uh, Jeff Laracy, the interim fire chief, and I asked him if they use Magnolia to transport, if they use that, you know, lights and sirens, do they use that? He said no, they use one for if they're, you know, running to the hospital. They do go there, evac, I've seen evac on there, um, and the, the county fire truck, they will go on that if they're not, um, in not pursuit, but in one of the in an So he said, if if you wanted them to not use that, they, you know, to cut down that traffic, because they go there because it's an easier it's an easier turn. You're not doing a 90 degree with your truck. So he said, if you would like for them to not use that, or you know, or Less than the traffic that you need to talk to. Okay. Oh. Uh, Gary Conroy, City Commissioner, Edgewater. My, my biggest concern is public safety. If you close down that road, and we live in this world of mutual aid, as you old folks know that, and New Smyrna could be fighting a structure fire out somewhere else north of City Islesboro. And then the Edgewater moves out to the line to protect the south end of New Smyrna, which we always do. We do that, we have it through the county, correct? So my concern is this, you, you shut down that road, though those seconds or extra minutes that emergency services can't get around that, that blockade you're gonna put at night, and somebody could be on Magnolia, could use those services, could be a, a medical emergency, could be a structure fire, those precious moments that could really Hurt a citizen and take their life, and I, I don't think it's worth it. It's not a speed problem; it's a volume problem, and the volume is never going to go down. Hi, I'm Shirley Daniels, and I live on Magnolia. First point I'd like to make is that the volume studies need to be consistent. If July is the baseline then the next study needs to be in July. Yes. Because I think probably the volume is significantly higher right now, January, February, March, when the snowbirds are down. So you have to have apples and apples when you do your comparison. That's one point. And the second point is, I think a big part of the problem is that you can't get easily from Route 1 to 44. So why don't we fix that? Agreed. Too much money? I, not Why don't we fix that? Make it two lanes wide well, I can't and the change the light, um, you know, pattern there. Mm -hmm. Improve the flow mm -hmm. so that you can get from Route 1, 1 to 44, both each side and northbound, mm -hmm. westbound. Yes. westbound. I know, and I have video, and I also have pictures from January 30th and February 1st the number of cars and the number of cars that were stopped for speeding. Could you stand up, please? I was on, um, my name's Kathy, I'm on uh, Second and Magnolia. And so now I have the new community center, I've got buses coming down, I've been there for 21 years. And I've had my coffee on the porch several times with officers over the years begging for something to happen because I've raised my kids and, and we also have Sal who lives down the street, we, they all went to read Patillo. Um, I've lost several pets from being killed. Did a child have to die? Excuse me? Does a child have to die before we take exactly. this? Exactly. 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 In the last meeting, when this first came up, they said, oh, Reef Patil is shutting down, so don't worry about it. Well, now it's not. Okay? It's going to be there. And on January 30th, I sat on my porch, and I was having coffee. In the matter of 15 minutes that I had my coffee, there were 135 cars that went by. There are also seven cars that were stopped for um, speeding on Second Magnolia. 
The next morning I went out and there they were again stopping them. So I'd like to have those records between the 29th, 30th, and February 1st of how many tickets were given out. Because it is a speed problem. End of story. My name is uh, Kevin Ragsdale and uh, I'm a retired firefighter and I've been around a little bit and seen what apparatus would do. And when we are in a situation to move, going back to your answer, we can move in any direction. We know about it prior to getting there, it would always be you know, diverted. We have to move down a different road to go to an emergency structure fire, whatever the case may be. We do have a problem down the road. It's definitely all about uh, safety, life safety. That's why we're here. It's nothing more than that. That's the reason everyone is here tonight, is because of safety. Mm -hmm. We have a problem with that. So that's what we're here about. So if we can get to an answer, a solution, and everybody here receive that, would be awesome. Dan Plazel, I've got a home in Edgewater and a business in New Smyrna. And I appreciate the concerns over speed and volume, but we just listened to a consultant tell us that speed was not an issue, so we can't define the volume. So therefore, she we, either, on the street. we right. either trust yeah. the data or we, dis we dispose of that data. But you can't use the, dis the, the data on the one hand to make your point and then completely disregard it when a counterpoint is brought up. So if a consultant is brought in, the data was put together, I think this decision needs to be driven by that data. The question has come up several times and it keeps getting glanced off. What is the threshold? What is the concern numerically here because we're using that number to justify some upgrades? <laughs>